Evolutionists claim that the Earth and the universe are millions and billions of years old. The Bible tells us that it's 6,000 years old and that there was a worldwide flood about 4,500 years ago. Now, evolutionists claim, again, that the coal on the Earth formed during the Carboniferous period, supposedly 300 to 360 million years ago. That as swamps were growing in warm tropical conditions, the wood from the swamps was being buried in the ground and that this is where coal comes from. But when we look in the ground, we see that the actual physical evidence contradicts the evolutionary fairy tale. You see, how was coal actually formed in the ground? Well, number one, today there is no swamp in the world that is producing coal today. And to form coal, material must be buried rapidly so that insects, bacteria, fungi, and exposure to oxygen do not prevent it from decaying. And many coal beds contain plants that prefer dry ground and not swamps. And so clearly this is not uh, the accumulation of vegetation that grew in swamps. We also find polystrate tree trunks, many polystrate tree trunks that penetrate coal seams. These are tree trunks. Often we see them start in sedimentary rock, pass through coal seams, and end in sedimentary rock. And they most often do not have roots or tops, proving that these trees did not grow there. And therefore, this contradicts the evolutionary story because, again, it cannot possibly be true that coal formed 300 to 360 million years ago by slow and gradual process. This shows rapid burial in a very big flood. In addition, various coal seams are the size of countries. Some coal seams actually cover vast hundreds of thousands of square miles of territory. Some of them, there are anthracite coal seams in the western part of the United States that are 200 and 300 foot thick. This would require that you would have a layer of dead plant and wood material 2,000 or 3,000 foot thick with enough mud or rock on top of it to compress it down by a 10 to 1 ratio. Finally, well, we often find seashells in coal seams. Now, if these trees grew in swamps inland, they would not have seashells there. And so all of this physical evidence tells us that, in fact, only a worldwide flood could accomplish this, that the mixing of materials in a worldwide flood would cause seashells to be buried with trees and, and enough mud on top of that to compress it down to coal. And so we see that the evolutionary fairy tale that coal came about 300 to 360 million years ago is simply not true. You really can trust the Bible that there was a worldwide flood that buried forests 4,500 years ago.